before I get into that specific homework problem that was asked about, I'd like to just mention a little bit about um, performing conversions using dimensional analysis. The layout of dimensional analysis in general is multiply the given information or the number you want to convert from by one or more conversion factors. Now, conversion factor is written in the form of a fraction. So set up the math so the units will mathematically cancel until you're left with the desired units in the numerator. So we'll take a very simple example. How many eggs are in 10 dozen eggs? Well, the given is the information in the problem, 10 dozen eggs. The conversion factor is 12 eggs per one dozen. So again, we multiply the given by, in this case, the one conversion factor, because the units will cancel using the one conversion factor to leave us with the unit that we want to end up with, which is eggs. So we set up the math 10 times the fraction 12 over 1, and the units that go with the numbers are 12 eggs and 1 dozen, so you can see mathematically dozen cancel out, and you're left with 120 eggs. In this problem, you're asked to essentially convert 690 grams of copper to kilograms of copper. One of the ways to approach this is to realize that we need to cancel out the unit grams in the first step. And then ask, am I aware of a conversion factor that will convert grams to kilograms? And that it's right here. So we'll take the thousand grams and we'll put it in the denominator because now mathematically grams will cancel. And I'm going to put the kilograms in the numerator and that is the desired unit. And the answer is 0 0.690 kilograms. Another similar question, convert grams to kilograms, 270 grams to kilograms, and we'll use the same conversion factor. And the answer is 0 0.270 kilograms. Now we're asked to convert in the opposite direction, kilograms to grams. We're going to use the same conversion factor because this conversion factor relates kilograms to grams. But this time we're going to put the kilogram in the denominator and we still associate the number one with kilogram because in one large unit of kilogram there is a thousand smaller grams and the kilograms will cancel.